Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Y2302 bringing you with Productions. Yup, and I'm just gonna be telling you how to be making a paper gun. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sniper rifle, and um, not that difficult, and it just has a lot of things I have to do. And all you need for this project is some scissors pieces of tape I have two kinds of tape and paper of course and I'll be showing you remember to rate comment and subscribe and I thank you a lot and I hope you have a good time watching the video okay here we go okay first thing we need to do you want to take this paper and you want to kind of angle it so Okay. All you want to do is you want to angle it like this, not like this, not like, not like this, not like that, like this, okay? You just want to roll it up. It doesn't matter. Your sniper can be big, it's okay, because how big is a gun? Okay, your tube should look like this when you're done. Okay. Now all you want to do is you want to put it up to chin like the the line so it doesn't um, pop out. Now you want this is the part where you have to take the piece of tape. Now all you want to do is you want to tape it in the middle first. Like that. Like that. So that doesn't fall off. Okay. Then I'm going to tape it tape it on the left side like so and then last but not least on the right side like so there you go now you have a complete tube now we'll put this aside now we'll make another one actually you may you would want to make okay once you make this now you tell yourself you have to make three more so you can, um, you can, um, you can pass forward, or you can, or you can keep watching me doing this for a little while. It really don't matter. It's just gonna probably take me a while, so. I really don't know how to make the, um, fast forwarding it and all that and crap, because I'm not like that. So well I'm so while I'm doing this I just want to talk about um I'm a gamer and all that just to let you know I don't just make paper guns I'm a gamer serious gamer um it's something that I like to do nothing much uh, my parents my um parents they sometimes sometimes they let us play which is nice of which is nice of them so well, that what I'm just trying to tell you is you should be respectful to your parents, no matter what, even if they're mean. Okay, back onto the gaming com conversation. <laughs> um, I like playing a Black Ops. That's my game. Um, another no, thing I like no. to do is just um. Yeah, that's that. That's just my favorite game to play most of the times. Um, and um, I like playing. Mostly, what I like playing is zombies. That's my favorite thing to play. And um, the reason why I like playing zombies is because it tells a little backstory of real people. Some real people, not that they're not really actually real, but they're just telling like what could happen it's just kind of like a gaming source you know so this paper is crappy right now i have no clue why okay um, yeah so my other favorite game i like to play is breach um why reach because it's 
it's just kind of cool because you get to jetpack, you get to do a lot of other movements. Um, and the other thing is, um, the other thing I like to do is, um, on Halo is do firefight. It's really fun. I, I consider, I, yeah, I really consider, um, playing it a lot because it's just awesome to make, to just play it. Because, um, there you go, <laughs> one more. Um, the reason why I like to play is because it's, it's kind of cool. Well, like, what I mean by cool, it's like, it's just way more better than Halo 3 and has better, it has better graphics than Halo 3, Halo 2, and Halo 1. Halo 1, of course, because it's gay. Um... Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, let's get started with Red Dead Redemption before I have to go. Well, before I make this, because I'm almost done. Um, Red Dead Redemption is kind of fun. Um, cheat codes. I do not require using them because they are really crappy. And it's just I really don't like using cheat codes because it's not worth it. It doesn't save your game. Which is horrible. Okay, now you have four tubes. Back on with the gun. You have four tubes. What you want to do is you want to cut one. Is you want to cut one about. You want to cut this about. Like right here. Like right here. Okay. Boom. There you go. Get that. Okay. Now you have one that is smaller from one. You can see. You light like this. And one smaller. Okay. And then you. It's, so it's continuing on for a pattern. Then you cut this one small like this. The same. Likewise. Like that. So then. Flat it down like that. Now you have two that are small and two that are big. If you want to check, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want to check the cut tubes, you want to want to check them to see if they're even. They don't have to be even. It's fine, perfectly fine. It's it's not it. They're not attached to the same part, so it's like that. Okay. Mine's not that even, but let's throw it away. Alright, now you made four tubes. You made you made smaller tubes and you made big tubes. Okay. Now what you want to do there, you you should have a fat one and a small one. What you would want to do is you would want to this is the bottom part. You'd want to slide it like that from a distance. that okay so that okay oh wait no my bad it's actually supposed to be like this even as so And the fattest one you just, and the smallest one you just want to put down like this, and the fattest one you just wrap it around. You might want to wrap it around two times, three times. I'd consider just two times because I don't want you to waste that much tape. Your parents will get very mad at you, disappointed. Okay. And then the other side. You might want I, I might consider longer pieces of tape if you want to. Um why longer pieces? Because um you have a better chance of just putting it around the putting it around the um, piece. Okay. Now you have this. You have one smushed into this. 
Now what you want to do is you want to kind of like push it out like this. You want to kind of like swing it right here. You just want to kind of fold it in. Okay, so that's one part. Of, that's one part, okay? So we'll put that right there. Okay, then now if there's a smaller one, you might just want to Luckily, okay, you just want to kind of do this. Could also do that too. Okay, perfect. So you might have a medium sized tube like this. Okay, you just want to put that in. You just want to place it in. Okay, put it in. Try making a heart. So first, what you have to do is just push it in make it like that. And then just, if you're lucky enough, you can put it in. Okay. Then you just want to take this much tape. This much. And you'd want to put it around just like that. And so, so you got two of these pieces. One more. So now you'd want to put this part right here. Alright, this is just going to be like a mini sniper because, um,. That's what I plan to make. So this is just part one, just to let you know. Okay. So then I put that, and I would make a big piece of tape, and just wrap it around. running out of tape. Okay. Now you might have a piece that is shaped like this. Like that. Okay. Um this is gonna this is part one. And uh remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, okay? Thank you and watch part two.